Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. We're pleased to welcome Dr. Teresa Iribaran, a board-certified specialist in internal medicine focused on disease reversal through nutrition and lifestyle modification. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So we're, we're doing this in a Zoom meeting uh, because of the conferences have been uh, canceled. Typically, we do these interviews on site at the conferences. Uh, of course, we're right in the middle of of the COVID pandemic, and you're in Miami, which is a, a hot spot right now. Tell us a little bit about how that is affecting your practice. I do a lot more virtual consultations now. Uh, patients are fearful of going to the doctor or leaving their home, so we do a lot more virtual consultations. I'm still seeing um, many patients, and uh, I'm doing a lot more education on COVID uh, because many of them are just fearful. They really don't know what to think every time they have a symptom, is this really COVID or not? And uh, now that we're having a a resurgence here in Miami, testing has become a problem. There's a lot of testing sites, but the testing do take longer to come in. So uh, it's it's an interesting time. We also get to talk more about their immune system and general general uh, overall health how staying healthy you know the, this patients that have obesity and underlying uh, diseases that are you know really these are diseases that could be prevented have uh, more complications so this is bringing home a point to my patients that staying healthy is really really the key tell us a little bit more about your your practice So I do a hybrid model. I do internal medicine um, through insurance, and then I also do functional medicine. Um, My training um, was always in internal medicine and what was called then, well, still is today, primary care. Uh, However, back then, uh, it really focused more on integrative, alternative um, uh, aspects of medicine. So I was very lucky from the very get-go to be doing both internal medicine and an alternative form of, of medicine. Um, I think that, you know, the, the teaching portion of it is so important for the patients because if you, if you empower them by teaching them, then they take control of their, of their disease. So that's, that's what I do a lot in my office. I have a health coach um, and I do a lot of teaching within the room, uh, whether they see me for functional medicine or just internal medicine. Um, mm-hmm. I just, uh, I think that uh, patients don't come to you for a pill. They come to you because they're sick and they, or they're not feeling as good as they wish they did. And they want you to reserve their, resolve their problem, not necessarily just give them a pill. And in order to do that, you have to sit with them and you have to listen and you have to see what's, you know, what's their lifestyle. Uh, what are the different aspects that could be affecting uh, their, their condition? And kind of looking at a picture close up and then just standing back and realizing that it's not just that little corner and seeing the person as a whole, a whole human being, what's affecting them emotionally, physically, you know, and even spiritually and, and then uh, give them the tools so that they can take care of themselves. It's very rewarding because when they realize that there's things that they can do, they take charge. You know, I, I don't see, I think, you know, um, there's this image of the doctor that you know, we give these orders and the patient has to follow the orders. And that's not the way I see myself, you know, and, and my patients realize that that's, I have a complete uh, uh, different approach. It's a, it's a team approach with the patient and myself as the team. And I have to see what they're willing to do, what's right for them. I treat each individual as a different, you know, a, a completely different um, individual. I say that, you know, we're not made in a Volkswagen factory and everybody's the same. So why are we treating everybody the same? You gotta, you know, listen. And, and I think that's the beauty of, of, of my practice anyways, is that interaction that I have with the patient. And they, they teach me. You know, I learn a lot by just listening to them and, and then trying to reach uh, what is the core of the problem. So if you, are, if you have high blood pressure, is it really just a number 
you know, that we're treating or why do you have this high blood pressure? What else is going on? And, and then um, I have patients that I really treated there. Are, you know, I have one, one patient, 70 year old that I was able to lower her blood pressure uh, from four medications that she was on to two, just with lifestyle. And at someone that's that age, you would think, well, there's no way that you can do this. But it's again, it's giving them the tools so that they take control. You empower, you know, patients want control. Every We all want control. We want to be able to control our own lives. And um, that's the focus in my practice. It's really more education, empowering, giving, offering different options. Uh, not everyone has the same option. And not everyone is able to do what you want them to do or is ready to do it. So you have to see where the patient is and then help them in that, in their journey to wellness. What are some of the, the tools uh, or the functional medicine modalities that you incorporate? So what I do is definitely gut health, detoxification and inflammation. I do that through diet, stress management, through um, exercise, and then nutraceuticals, you know, supplements, but supplements that are good quality and that they're precise for the patient. I also give them a plan of action. So I tell them, we're going to keep you on these supplements for a certain amount of time. And this is the reason why. And then we reevaluate, do you need to be on all of this? Because nobody wants to switch a whole bunch of prescription medications for a whole bunch of supplements now. You know, what they want is a solution. They want to feel better. So it's reevaluating the patient, seeing where are you now. Sometimes when we remove a problem, it's like an onion that you're peeling and now you find another problem. And then you go and you target that and, and slowly, you know, the patient improves. And of course, other things are going to come up. So I, I, it's not like they graduated. That's it. They're done. You know, since I do primary care, um, they know that they're, I'm always going to be here for them and that we can, you know, address issues as they come up. You know, stress management with COVID is, is very, very important. You know, patients are scared. So you give them the tools of the education of, you know, this is a virus, this is how it works, this is how it's transmitted. And sometimes just um, being there, kind of holding their hands, you know, that, uh, that human approach um, does a lot for your health and for your immune system. Sure. I know that functional medicine uh, docs, uh, do a variety of different tests that perhaps conventional uh, doctors don't use. And they also interpret those tests a little bit differently too. Do, do you uh, talk a little bit about some of the testing that you do, micronutrient testing and, and the like? Uh, I definitely do micronutrient testing. I do comprehensive stool testing. I also do a lot of genetic testing, um, even testing for weight loss patients, genetic test to see what is the best diet for, for a patient. So, um, you know, that's that's a big big part of uh, of the functional medicine approach because you can't treat what you don't know that you have, and it's not just again not just throwing supplements at, at someone and saying oh this is good for you know it's it's doing it more personalized you know what is your gut telling me where are you off you know I have a an interesting case a young girl with um, very bad you know depression and and um, really it's it's more issues with her gut and uh once you tr start treating that then everything else gets better but if we didn't do these tasks you know uh how are we going to know that we need to treat the gut first in the patients so i do offer a lot of functional medicine testing i try to use as many testing as possible through their insurance because sometimes it can be costly and and i want this to be available to as many patients as possible so whenever possible, I use, you know, Quest or LabCorp, which are the two big ones here. And then, um, you know, I do a lot of Genova and ZRT and, and hormones um, also, because if you have hormone imbalance, well, you're, you're never going to feel well. So I, I um, although I don't do hormone replacement because I'm more the internal medicine Part of it, uh, I do work closely with other colleagues that that do the hormone replacement, and and we kind of collaborate. I I do everything else, the the insulin resistance, and and they do the hormone replacement. It's more about where's, where's your passion, and um, you know, so that you do the best work possible for the patient. 
Sure, and, and you also need to know, uh, is this uh, issue that they're presenting with or symptom, uh, does it relate to a hormone deficiency or an imbalance? Right. So, you know, I think that the first thing to, to look at is uh, always, we, I do a detox on all my patients. You know, I see where they are, how long they need the detox for. And then, you know, we talk about nutrition and uh, sleep, exercise, stress management, because those, those are pillars. Everybody needs that. You know, I look at the micronutrient testing. Are they low in vitamin D? You know, are they taking medications that are depleting other, um, you know, other important ingredients uh, for their health, you know, um, the tons of young ladies that are on, on oral contraceptives, and, and they're always tired, well, you know, let's give them a supplement, you know, the B, let's check for their, their B vitamins, are they low, do we replace them, you know, or, or patients that are on statins, and they're not taking CoQ10, even though this is already main street medicine, you know, so we put them on, on the supplements that they need. And then I do testing to see, well, how, how low is it? How much do I need to give you? You know, again, it's very, very personalized because it's, I don't, I don't want to change from high blood pressure. Here's the high blood pressure pill to, oh, okay, let me just give you a supplement. You know, that's not really resolving their problem. And so it's, you know, where are you in this continuum between wellness and disease? And let's try to push you towards wellness, fixing everything along the line that needs to be fixed. And a lot of these things are very, very simple. A lot of these, you know, I, I have a, a patient also with just uh, uh, another patient with a lot of anxiety. And I, you know, we put her on nutraceuticals with, and, and we did a detox. And in just in a few weeks, she was feeling amazing, you know, and it's, and then you're able to target other, other areas of their health, you know, but you also have to, I like to start where is the patient in that moment? What is their main concern? You know, because as a doctor, there might be things that I'm concerned about. But if they're coming to me because they have fatigue and I want to treat something else, well, you know, the patient doesn't feel heard then. And, and I think it's important that we address it. Okay, this is your main concern. This is why I think we should do everything else that we're doing. This is why I'm sending you these tests. And when they understand the why, then again, they're, they're more uh, willing to do the work that it takes. Ultimately, they have to do the work. I can't do the work for them. I can only make recommendations. So if they get better or not, it's because of what they've done. So I feel that my role is really to give them the information and help them on that journey. Um, but they're the ones that have to do the work. When did you uh, first get introduced to A4M? I've been going to many of their conferences for many years. And then a few years ago, I was uh, uh, learning about their fellowship program. And I was very fortunate that uh, Dr. Pam Smith, uh, Pamela Smith, gave me a call. And um, she's amazing. And uh, after speaking to her, I, I definitely wanted to do the fellowship. And I just, I just finished the fellowship, so I'm very happy about that, and the board certification. So I think it was the best thing I did, even though I had been practicing some form of holistic and um, functional medicine my whole career, uh, this has given me the tools to be a lot more uh, precise with my treatment to the patient. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us here on Redefining Medicine today. It was my pleasure.